of birds. So you have a wood board, two birds, a little flower, and then you should have three paints, brown, white, and a little red. So basically what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna stain this uh, wood board brown just to bring out a little more natural feeling. And then I'm going to paint my birds white and do branches with white. And then I gave you red in case you wanna add some hearts for Valentine's Day all around. Um, so what I'm gonna do first actually is I'm gonna start painting my birds because these are gonna need a couple of coats of paint. So I'm going to just quickly paint them white. And I'm making sure they're facing each other. So one of them's gonna have like a burn around it. And then these pieces are just cut by laser. So that's why there's usually those burn marks. You might smell like campfire too. Birds aside, we're going to do a couple of a couple of coats of paint. Now I'm going to wash out my brush really well, and I'm going to start staining my board. So to stain the board, all I'm going to do is I am just going to find that brown paint, mix it around a little bit, and then I'm just going to paint it regularly. I'm going to paint it as just one section. And then I have a little paper towel on the side and I am just going to kind of wipe that excess paint off. And it's just, if you see, you get like a little bit, you see a little bit of the wood grain, it's a little more natural looking. I think it looks pretty. So I'm just gonna paint sections and then wipe it off. Remembering to do the edge as I do this. background I'm gonna add some white branches so I'm just gonna wash out my brush and then I'm gonna add a couple I'm gonna add two branches from either side and then we'll put the birds down see if we want to add more as well so I'm always gonna start from the edges and I am just gonna go out it doesn't have to be a perfectly straight line but since we are putting our birds there you might want to make it don't make it too twisty turvy so I'm just going back and like making some of the sections a little darker, a little thicker. The end of the branch should be fairly thin. 
And whenever I do branches, I like to always say, like, make them go up. These branches grow towards the sun. I'm also going to put one on the other side. I'm not sure if I'm going to have the birds together or looking at each other on different sides. Other, and then I'm going to put a heart between them. So this is your project. If you don't want to put hearts in between them, you'd also make it like a winter project and put snow. So I'm just going over these birds one more time. Make sure I do the edges. So I'm going to imagine a bird here and a bird here. some hearts now. So I'm going to make a little pink. So I'm just using a cap to make some of the pink. And I'm just going to put a couple hearts over here. And we also have that flower that we could add somewhere. Make pink, red. I'm going to do like a series of small ones. You could also use the back of your brush if you want. And just kind of draw. I almost make, when I make the hearts, oh, I'm going to show you one close up. I almost just make like a really wide V. different I'm just gonna add a little pink on some of those branches almost to represent flowers you would also so these flowers are called Zola flowers they're actually made from like tapioca so they are paintable so if you want to paint it you could just like water down your paint a little bit I'm just going to paint the edges right now. I'm going to paint the edges pink. And you just paint it with a really watered down paint. Just do the little edges. Alright, so now I'm going to let everything dry and then I'll come back and put it all together. Now that the paint's a little dry, I'm going to start putting everything together. So all I'm going to do is I'm going to dip my brush in a little glue. I'm just using Elmer's glue. You put it on the back, you could use anything you'd like. Any school glue. You could probably even use um, a glue stick. You just put a little glue on the back and then put it down. You could lay out however you'd like. So I'm just, I have my little glue off to the side, putting a little dot, putting it down. Birds. So there we have our little lovebirds. At this point, I see I need to go back and put a little white. I'm going to wash out my brush really well. Put a little white on top of my bird. 
so once this dries it's a little good little Valentine's Day or winter you can make snow um, a little decoration I hope you had a great time and I'll see you soon Thank you.